my channel. I know it's been a hot minute. Um, I didn't post a video last week. Sorry, I was in the middle of midterm week. A little hectic and crazy. Reason why we call it Hell Week. Um, but I'm back and I have a new makeup tutorial for you. I've been dying to use greens and I figured what better time to use green than in March for St. Patrick's Day. So this is more of a St. Patrick's Day inspired look. I'm using nothing but greens, browns, yellows. It's a lot of fun. This is probably one of my favorite looks I've done on myself. I feel like it just makes my eyes really pop. Pop through. And I use kind of mix up my foundation routine a little bit. It's interesting. So without any further ado, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. To start my look, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Primer Water and I'm just going to wait for it to set on my face and then I'm going to move into primer. And I'm going to be using two primers today from Makeup Forever. I'm going to be using the Green Corrector Primer and I'm going to be using the Hydration Primer. The Green Corrector will be going on the outer corners of my face while the Hydration Primer, hydration primer I'm going to be focusing on the T-Zone area. Next I'm going to be taking a concealer by the brand Pixie and this is a brightening correct, correcting concealer for any dark circles under my eyes. It's a, br it's a brightening peach concealer and this will help mute, now, mute out any blue underneath my eyes and make me look more awake. For foundation, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Born This Way Full Coverage Foundation and I'm actually going to be adding a couple drops of Josie Maran Maracuja Oil. Which before you're like, oh my god Liz, why are you adding oil to foundation? This is actually a trick within the industry to help make any foundation look more natural on the skin. And it really just makes your skin look luminous and glowing and just beautiful. And I originally thought I was crazy. but when I tried it like you have to try it it's the most amazing look it, your skin will never look better when you apply foundation it just looks healthy I do have to say this type this trick is really for dewy for dewy it's for dry it's for dry and mature skin it's something just to look very natural and not super overdone um, I definitely recommend try it out and you'll probably see the results right away whether or not it works. This works for a cream or liquid foundation. So I'm now going to be cream contouring and highlighting, which if you're shocked, yes. I'm cream contouring. This is my second time doing cream contour and I have to say, I don't know what I was doing before. I love it. It works really well. If you want to do, you don't have to buy a cream contour stick. You can use a concealer. Here I'm using a NYX, a NYX Cosmetic HD concealer, obviously a couple shades darker than my skin, just a couple. And this is going to help make some natural shadows on my face. And I'm going to be blending that in with a beauty blender. And I am going to be alternating between my beauty blender and then my Morphe brush. And then the Morphe foundation brush I was using. The Morphe foundation brush still has excess foundation on it. So when you apply that over top of the cream contour, it's going to help make it more natural into the skin tone and not make it look so harsh which is what we want. We don't want it to look like a strike going down my face. We want it to look very natural. So it's a really good trick to do your cream contour. Now I'm going to be highlighting and concealing my face using my, what do you guess? Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Fair. I love this stuff. 
there's no words to say about it anymore. It's cheap, it's wonderful, it's amazing. Go get it. <laughs> We're gonna start the eye look. I did bake underneath my eyes and underneath on the bottom portion of my face. We're gonna start out with Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. Oh my god, I almost forgot the name of it. Yes, Peach Smoothie is what we're starting out with on an E40 in the crease. Now I'm going in with Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. All the shadows I'm using are Makeup Geek today. So this is Creme Brulee on E40 brush in the crease. Now I'm going to be picking up Chickadee, which is a yellow eyeshadow, and I'm going to be really concentrating that on an E25 brush in the crease, and I'm really going to be packing on building up that color. I'm going to be taking High Tea, which is a green color, and we're going to start to build the green in the crease, and I'm concentrating this primarily on the outer corner of the eye, and then as I'm depositing less product, I'm going to be moving my brush inward. To start to add some brown tones to the eye, I'm starting out with Frappe, which is a red tone brown, also on E25 brush, and we're going to be concentrating that again in the lower portion of the crease. I'm going in with probably the most famous color by Makeup Geek is Cocoa Bear, which is a red tone, which is a super red tone brown color. And as you see, I'm really angling my brush downward because I'm really trying to pack that color in on the lower portion of the crease to make a smooth transition from the yellows to the browns to the greens. Now I am going in on a pencil brush and I'm going to be taking Envy, which is a very dark green. There is a little bit of a sparkle in, to, in it, but I'm going to be concentrating that on the outer corner and the inner corner of the eye. And I'm going to be leaving the blank, the middle blank. <laughs> Now we're going in with the star of the show. I am taking Jester, which is a foiled shadow, and I am going to be packing that on the center portion of the eye. Now I'm just going to dust away all that bake with a Maybelline Fit Me foundation. This is a powder foundation real quick to just dust away all that bake. Now I am going to go in, I'm just going to show you guys one eye, but I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and I am going to do a wing liner for this look. Now to start my lower lash line, I'm going to be taking a flat definer brush and I'm going to be taking um, high tea and I'm just going to be just working that into my lower lash line. Now I'm just going to be taking a little MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to be putting Jester on the middle portion of the lower lash line. Now I'm going to be taking a little bit of Rapunzel and I'm going to be using that as my brow bone highlight. To start to powder contour my face, I'm going to be using the banana and the vanilla shade within the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, 
fit light contour kit and I'm just going to be brightening up underneath the eyes, the center of the forehead, the nose, and the chin area. Now to contour the face, I'm going to be going into Java with a small contour brush by Sigma. Now I'm going to be contouring my jawline and if you see I'm just primarily um, adding this to the lower portion of my jaw and then I am dusting downward. You do not want to dust upward, you want to dust down to create that natural shadow and add a define and get a defined line. My new holy grail brush which is the Morphe M527 and I'm just going to be dusting that in all of the contour colors in that kit and we are just going to be bronzing up and warming up the face. Now I'm going to be taking my Morphe 9B blush palette and I'm going to be grabbing that center shade and we're just going to be adding a little blush to the cheeks. To highlight the face, I'm going to be going into my Becca Champagne Glow Palette by Jaclyn Hill. This was a limited edition palette during the holidays, but I'm proud to say Champagne Pop and Pearl are both permanent colors now, so you can pick them up individually. And I am just adding that to the high points of my cheekbones just to make it really pop. Size the cheekbones, I'm going to be adding highlighter also to my cupid's bow and the tip of my nose and also to the chin. <laughs> the lips, I'm going to be taking Dosa Colors, bear, bear with me, <laughs> and it is a pink nude color and I'm just going to be using that all over my lips. This is a liquid lipstick. Once I've done that, I'm going to be setting my face with Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, my Holy Grail Spray, and we're going to fix my hair, and the look is complete. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I had a lot of fun making this look. It was, it was a little different, and I haven't worn makeup like in two weeks, so it's been like kind of a shock to my face to like see it again beat this much. It was funny because I was in my photography class and I posted it and I put up a self portrait of myself and everyone's like, oh my god, you beat that face, you beat that face. I'm like, thank you. You know, I just, I have a tendency to just love to beat it. it. It's great. And all the boys around are like, oh my god, what is she doing? Is she really fighting her, is she really like beating up her face? I'm like, no, 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 no. Calm down, child. 
beating your face is something you will never understand. So, <laughs> hope you guys really enjoyed the tutorial. Um, if you guys have any like ideas for me to do, like tutorial wise to do, I know I constantly kind of keep doing like the makeup tutorials because I'm really just trying to start to build content on my channel. Um, but leave it in the comments down below. I don't really have that much more to say. I hope you guys have a great St. Patrick's Day coming up. If you are Irish, if you aren't, then kiss someone because they're Irish. Huh. Huh. Okay, I'm corny. <laughs> well, I hope you guys have a great day, night, wherever you are. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Alright. Bye, guys! <laughs>